All right, well, joining me now for more on what we expect at that budget vote is Owen O'Callaghan, an economist from BNP Paribas. Thank you very much indeed for speaking to us. So as we've been saying all morning, the EU IMF aid package is very much contingent on Parliament passing this budget. Could it come down to the wire? Is there a, a chance, no matter how small, that it won't pass? Well, it's a pretty close call. If you look at the numbers, the coalition government, after the by-election in November, have a majority of two. Um, three of which in the, in the coalition are independents and three of which are uh, Fianna Fáil without the whip. So it's going to be a tight one, but the uh, chances of it working improved yesterday uh, when one independent indicated he'd support it mm. and the second is expected to follow today. So close call, but we expect it to pass. Well, we're talking about $8 billion worth of spending cuts, tax increases expected to slash social welfare, including job seekers and child benefit. Just how difficult is it going to be for the country to stomach these cuts? Well, yeah, it's very tough. I mean, one of the contentions within the political parties um, has been whether that represents too much in terms of cuts. The Labour Party have been asking for a little bit less front-loading this year of the measures, which we have some sympathy with. I mean, if you look at the raw numbers, um, if you've got cuts around 4% of GDP, applying a fiscal multiplier of a half, that's going to slash about 2 percentage points off growth next year. Um, so it will be lucky if we see any positive growth. Um, so it's going to be very tough for the economy to stomach. Do the cuts go far enough in terms of bringing the budget deficit down? Well, they're very aggressive, um, and one thing that's been uh, a, an optimistic note recently is that when the European Commission extended the, de the deadline for Ireland to reach a 3% deficit target, it means that if we do get some growth disappointments next year, there's still room for renegotiation and uh, readjustment of the programme to meet that target. Now, the EU has given Ireland, what, four years to reduce its budget deficit to 3% of GDP from about 12% of GDP this year. A realistic target? Well, um, it's, it's going to be very tough. Um, if you look at what Ireland's trying to do, they're trying to do it in an environment of uh, weak global growth generally. The emerging markets are very strong, but the predominant trading partners of Ireland are the developed economies. So really, it's, it's requiring a massive adjustment in the economy. I would say, however, that the adjustment that needs to happen in Ireland, which is disinflation, a reduction in wages to improve the competitiveness there, is very much underway. So if, if, if there's an economy in the Eurozone which is um, structurally able to adjust quickly, it's the Irish one. And I could just very quickly ask you about elections that Prime Minister Brian Cowan is planning on holding in February next year. How strongly is political risk featuring in your thinking right now? Well, I think it's, it's quite clear what we should expect next year. If the budget passes today, then we can expect that the uh, Fine Gael Labour coalition is the most likely outcome for next year. If the budget doesn't pass, then we could probably see a, a general election called immediately and voting within four weeks and then a budget passed thereafter. Right, Erno Callahan from BNP Paribas, great to get your thoughts. Thanks very much for coming on the show.